Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you'll know by the title and the thumbnail what this package is. But the wonderful Kelly O'Gorman sent me a copy of her 2022, I had to think for a minute, um, colouring calendar. And I want to share it with you because I started doing it last year and kind of gave up, but this is spectacular. So in the beautifully packaged box came this personalised Christmas card. If I can get it out, my hands are going to work. On this incredible cardstock for you to colour. Isn't that beautiful? Her work is just a dream, it really is. So she just says, Dear Lucy, I hope that you enjoy the calendar. Wishing you a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. With very best wishes, Kelly. That will be something that is treasured on my notice board. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. So in my package came a, a spare copy of this Christmas card and the beautiful envelope that it comes in. And I have somebody very special in mind that I am going to send this to. So Gina, if you're watching, this is on its way to you along with the other gift I talked about. All right. So that's for you, Gina. OK, so let's get into this. You ca it comes beautifully packaged, look, and sealed with a little K gold stamp. So I'm not going to be tidy about this, so you'll have to excuse the rustles. Oh, here it is. Look at it. Let me put the other light on and hope that I can get rid of some of this dreadful glare on everything. This dreadful lighting situation. Let's try that, folks. Okay, so she signed it for me. So Kelly O'Gorman 2022 calendar. It comes on the most incredible paper. And on the back you get a thumbnail of each of the images. And they're named. So if we look at, if we flip through, I won't bother with the actual calendar. <coughs> we'll just do the images. So look at this. This is the green man. Oh what my god, that's incredible. I love it. Look at him. Oh he's gorgeous. All those leaves and colours that we can put in there. Isn't he gorgeous? Okay, so I need the next one is Venus. There's the calendar. So you get um a week view and the um significant holidays are put in there. So there we go, and some notes that you can take at the bottom. So, flipping over, there is no easy way for me to do this, folks, other than do it this way. So, February is Venus. She's gorgeous, isn't she? I mean, ink tents on here, wow, yes, they would be perfect. Watercolour paints, whatever you want to throw at it would be perfect. Um, I think the paper would take any pencils. Um, I don't think there would be an issue with that at all. But I mean, look at these like tuba plants with little faces, and these look like Venus fly traps. It, oh, I, it's screaming ink tents at me, and I really want to. My fingers are itching to do it. Gorgeous. Okay, so what's the next one is um, just so this one's called. <laughs> oh, look. I mean, you just can't get any more beautiful than that, can you? I love it. I think I'm going to do this calendar in ink tents with pencil over the top. It's just screaming that to me. It Bright, vivid colours and, yeah, there's plenty of spl space. Plenty of space for blending those ink tents colours through. Yeah, I think we should do ink tents. That's what my feelings are. And that one's called Just So. And then the next one is called Butterfly Gnome. Ooh, intriguing. Oh look, so this, when I was talking the other week about Kelly's work having images within images, this, obviously you look and you see a butterfly. I don't know. Sorry about the camera, I've just moved my light in a bit. But here you've got moons, you've got a beard coming down here, almost like this is a face of the gnome. 
elephants, foxes on each side and it is symmetrical. So what you do on one side you can do on the other. Which would make that colour, al colour along amazing, wouldn't it? So I'm probably missing something because I always do with these images within images and it's not until you start to colour that it all comes out. But again, screaming ink tense to me. Gorgeous. Okay, so the next one is... Um, oh, the May Queen. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh, look at her. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Oh, Kelly, if you're watching, this is incredible. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to start. Like, I want to do it now. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at that dragonfly. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, Lucy, come on. <clears throat> um, Treehouse, the next one is which is June. There is a little hole at the top so that if you colour it you can hang it up. This is Treehouse, this is um, June. Isn't that beautiful? A little hair. It's that looking down here. Oh, it's just little roses or whatever plants you want them to be. It's just gorgeous. Oh, okay, July is Sea Maiden. So let's have a look at July. Oh, look. Oh, this is beautiful. So we've obviously got the Sea Maiden, and flowing from her comes little seashells, a crab. We've got a lobster poking out here. We've got a little um, clownfish. <coughs> Excuse me, some other kind of beautiful fish here. Um, a turtle, a starfish, and then leading with all those tentacles is a, I th is it a cuttlefish, I think maybe, actually. I was going to say a octopus, but I actually think that's a cuttlefish. Isn't that incredible? Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have some fun with this. So August is called Little Caravan and if you know me and you followed me you know I have a little caravan and I love going and staying in my little caravan. It's a bit bigger than this one. But look at that. I want to go inside and poke about and see what's going on in there, what it looks like, how it's decorated. I would probably do that sort of like, um, I don't know, what's springing to mind is like sort of kitsch, I'm thinking, like gingham and I don't know. But isn't that beautiful? Little windmill there. Oh, it's so lovely. And that's me all over, my cup of tea and a good book. Well, I'd, in my case, that'd be a colouring book. <laughs> Look at that. And the detail, look, it's not grayscaled, but you get um, detail where you know the shading needs to be. And the flowers. Oh, it's just divine, Kelly. Okay, so that's August. Then we've got September, which is called Genie. Okay, oh, look, she's beautiful. A female Genie, that's nice, isn't it? So again, we could have a silver or a gold genie's lamp. I'm rubbing it. <laughs> Nothing's happening, folks. <laughs> and then out comes this beautiful genie from the bottle. Isn't she stunning? Oh, just so beautiful. Okay, so that was September. This one's called All Hallows Eve. So this is our October page. I'm ready for, oh, look. I love it. That's beautiful. Very different than just having a pumpkin. So we've got like animal spirits here. So a hare and an owl. And look at that hair from a witch. It's beautiful, isn't it? 
absolutely gorgeous. Very different for Halloween. I love that page. Then we've got um, Magical Forest Creatures for November. Don't judge me, people. I do know the, the months of the year, but trying to flip and talk. <laughs> oh, look. What was it called? Magical Forest Creatures. So we've got a little face down here. And then from the tree we've got, well from the moon I suppose, or coming up from the tree we've got this um, hand caressing the moon and we've got a deer here that's got wings and I'm trying to work it all out. Looks like it could be like some kind of jackrabbit. And then our magical creatures here as well. So you could put lots of imagination into that one. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Okay, December, let's have a look. Now I've seen this page. I think it, I've shown it because I'd already downloaded a copy of this, paid for it and downloaded it. But um, look at Little Donkey. Oh, he's stunning. Isn't he beautiful? Little donkey. And you've got Bethlehem in the background there. And I presume these are the gold frankincense and myrrh. And the little oil lamp. It's just perfect, folks. Absolutely perfect. I love it. Um, I hope you guys will want to colour some of these months with me. I can't guarantee that I will get to do every single month, but certainly I want to get the ink tents out and really have a go with this. I mean, I can't wait to do January. He's gorgeous. I love them all, but it's a question of whether I'd get to, to do every single month with you. Let me come in just slightly. Um, but I'll certainly do my best to get as many done as I can. So, um... What I will do is link um, everything I can off the calendar. So we've got, um, I don't know if you can pick that up, www.cogcreative.com. I'll have to look into that. And then info at kellyogorman.co.uk. Then we've got Patreon. So we've obviously got Patreon. And then Facebook and Instagram. But I will link where um, you can purchase the channel, uh, channel, purchase this gorgeous calendar from. I mean, you could even cover the colour the front cover. And the good thing about it is each image is on the back of the the previous month's calendar. So you know, once you've coloured them, there's nothing to stop you. Let's go to the green man. There's nothing to stop you putting that in a frame because it's beautiful cardstock and even the little hole at the top where you're going to hang your calendar can be trimmed so you could put that in a frame and nobody would be any of the wiser. So none of the images get cut off by the um, spiral binding so you could trim that too if you wanted to pull it out. I'll just check that. I'm just checking through to make sure none of the images get cut off. I don't think they do. I think there's plenty of room for trimming these off. So that's been thought through too. Let's put them like that so you can see the bottom of each image. Yeah, I think, yeah, I mean that's bordered, that October one. So, so is that. That's the one I was concerned about. But no, that one is too. And that one. So there you go. So you could... It doesn't have to stay as a calendar once you've coloured the pictures. It's yours. You do with it what you want to. And certainly it would be beautiful framed. All right, my lovely friends. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I'll put a link down below to Kelly's Etsy shop where I know you can get this either download or this hard copy. And the paper is apps. Well, it's cardstock. It's absolutely gorgeous to colour on. Um, OK. I'll let you go. I'll probably be back 
um, very shortly with two more colouring books that I've purchased that I want to share with you that are gorgeous that we can do in 2022 together and yeah lots and lots of fun ahead folks all right my lovely friends so until we see each other again very very soon take really good care of yourselves bye bye